All right, welcome to the next part of the player movement tutorial. We can create a new C sharp script and call it player rotation, like so. Let Unity do its thing, and then we can open it up in VS Code, like so. There isn't anything we'll need to import. The script will be in charge of player rotation. We need to declare a couple of variables for public float mouse sensitivity like so and set equal to 5f and then we need public float call it x rotation and set it equal to 0f and then we need a game object but it's really just a transform so we can say public transform form and call it player object so and then we don't need any bulls or anything and then we can say void start or just type in start and then vs code will automatically fill it for you cursor dot lock state and say equal to cursor dot cursor lock mode and then say equal to locked so this will essentially make sure no one can move around your mouse cursor until you can actually allow them to do so then handling the rotation itself is very simple we just need to type in update and then we can say float mouse x is equal to input dot get axis and then call it mouse x this is a standard unity default multiplied by mouse sensitivity multiplied by time dot delta time delta time i apologize for mistyping typing errors Visual Studio Code has decided it does not want to autofill today. Then we can type in float mouse y and set it equal to input dot get axis mouse y multiplied by mouse sensitivity multiplied by time dot delta time. You guessed it. X rotation is negative equals mouse y like so. And then x rotation is equal to mathf dot clamp and then it's x rotation by some large number so when you're doing it you want to make sure the player can't look under like all the way around themselves or otherwise it would cause like nauseation or something like that so we can type in negative 85 and then the second number is really up to you in games like Cluster Truck, they did no clamping at all, and it just helps like make the game feel more parkoury. And then we can do transform dot local rotation and set it equal to quaternion. Oh, this word is so long, and I forgot how to spell it. And the Visual Studio Code does not want to autofill today, so you want to type in quaternion dot Euler and then open close parentheses x rotation and then we need to type in zero do a float and then zero float like so and then we need to actually rotate it so player object dot rotate not x rotation dot rotate and then we need to do vector three three dot up multiplied by the mouse at all right so if we've done everything correctly which i have not because i forgot to in lines in semicolons now everything should work so we can go into unity wait for everything to compile and it's compiled so we can assign the script to our camera the second one over here and then we assign the player object to the player and then we make sure the mouse rotation is some big number because you want it to feel nice and responsive to use you don't want it to feel too sluggish so as we can see here we're moving around and we're rotating and we're doing all that stuff that we can do in our game now currently we're building up a lot of velocity because this thing hasn't been assigned the ground mask so you can just add a new layer and call it environment and then in your player you can assign the environment as your ground mask. Alright so if we run now we shouldn't fall off the platform really quickly. We should actually be able to, yeah we can fall a lot more slowly. Alright, if you found these first two videos informative be sure to check out the next one tomorrow. And subscribe to never miss another upload like this. Funnyber out.